Canadian sports in the 1920s. The Roaring Twenties was a decade that will be remembered for many things, including sports. Between 1920 and 1929, Canada and Canadian athletes became increasingly recognized for their talents in sports. World War I had been devastating, both at home and abroad, and Canadians needed something to lift their spirits. The Great Depression was on its way, and sports gave unemployed men something to do to pass the time constructively. In the 1920s, the most popular and common sports played by individuals were ice hockey, basketball, rugby, baseball, lacrosse, and football. Tennis was also becoming quite popular. Basketball was invented by a Canadian named James Naismith in 1991. Both men and women played and enjoyed the game, and unemployed men especially liked it because groups of them could play together, and this helped ease the pain of not having jobs. An all-female team called the Edmonton Grads was formed, and these women proved that female athletes could be very successful in their sports. With 502 wins and only 20 losses, these women won four Olympic gold medals for Canada and showed the world that awesome talent that Canadians have when it comes to athletics, no matter what gender they are. Several amazing changes occurred throughout this time, including a more dominant female presence in the sports world. In addition, international sports, winter sports, and Olympic sports were given their own chance to shine. 1920s Olympics included the Summer Olympics that started on August 14th, 1920, and the Winter Olympics began on January 25th, 1924. I will now recap some of the highlights from these games. Boxing. To this day, 1920s was Canada's best ever Olympic success in boxing. The Canadian team won five medals in the eight events they competed in. Albert Schneider won the only gold and his division was the heavyweight. He was not yet a Canadian citizen, but he was one of the lucky ones chosen to represent Canada in the Summer Olympics in Antwerp, Belgium. Hockey. Ice hockey was an integral part of the games at Antwerp in 1920. The Winnipeg Falcons was the Canadian team and they soared through the games, scoring 29 goals and only allowing one goal against them. Four years later, the very first Winter Olympics games were held in Chamonix, France. Canada once again won the gold medal thanks to the Toronto Granites, who outscored their competition 110 to three. This was an outstanding time for Canadian hockey. Basketball. The early 1920s was the start of a love of the game of basketball in Canada. In 1923, the Edmonton grads played the U.S. champions, the Cleveland favorite Nets, who came out with shorts that displayed the words, World Champs on them. Much to their dismay, they were defeated by the Canadian team in two games, with a total score of 53-33. to The grads also enjoyed four successful appearances at the Olympic Games where they won 100% of their matches. Speed Skating Leela Brooks was Canada's skating darling and she was known as the Queen of Blades in the 1920s. She won over 65 championships both provincially and on the world stage and she set 17 world records. Six of the 17 records were set when she was just 17 years of age, in 1925. Her success in the 1920s paved the way for her to compete in the 1932 Lake Placid Olympics, and although she did not win a medal, she was one of the top competitors. Canada's first female Olympic medalist reigned in 1928, when women's sports was gaining popularity. Increasingly recognized in 1928 Amsterdam Olympics are when the summer team included women. Even though only seven of the 92 athletes were women, they won almost one third of Canada's 15 medals in those games. 
The same 1928 Olympics is when Canada had its first double gold medalist in athletics. Percy Williams won both the 100 meter and 200 meter dash. This made, this made him the first Canadian athlete to win two consecutive gold medals. To this day, he's, he is just one of the nine men to receive Olympic sprint double medals. The above mentioned sports have immense historical importance in Canada's society today. Hockey is a huge part of Canadian culture and the NHL has several Canadian hockey teams. The Leafs, Canadians, Flames, Oilers, Senators, and Jets have millions of fans and inspire kids daily to achieve their dreams. Fem female hockey is also an important part of ca Canadian society, both professionally and recreationally. In the 1920s, hockey was crowned as Canada's national game, and this remains true today. The NHL became an overnight success in this era, and each year continues to gain even more momentum. Basketball is a sport where both males and females can also succeed, and early teams like the Edmonton grads helped show that women can do anything men can do. The same goes for baseball. There are thousands of semi-professional and recreational teams across Canada for both men and women. And even though the MLB only has male teams, baseball continues to be a sport that men, women, and children all enjoy. In the 1920s, baseball was just as popular as hockey. A Canadian of the time who influenced my topic is Lionel Conacher. He was an incredible athlete and is considered to be the most famous all-around Canadian athlete of the 19th century. Conacher loved and played many sports, but his main passion was football. He was part of the winning 1921 Grey Cup Argos. In 1925, he joined the NHL where he played for several teams, including the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Montreal Maroons. He won two Stanley Cups during his career. In addition to these amazing accomplishments, Lionel Conacher was also a pro wrestler and lacrosse player. He was also on the Maple Leaf baseball team and they won the International League Championship in 1926. Conacher retired in 1937 but will always be remembered as one of the most inspirational athletes of the 1920s. I chose the topic of sports in the 1920s because sports is my passion. I have gained greater insight into the history of Canadian sports and some of the trailblazers who paved the way for Canadian athletes. Canada is recognized worldwide for our, for our elite athletes, especially in hockey and winter sports, as we have the advantage of winter weather. Thank you.